Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel Daisy DIY. In this video, I will show you how to make this quick and easy spring DIY using only items from the Dollar Tree. If you want to see it step by step, please keep watching. So the first thing we're going to need for this project is going to be two jars. I got this one on hand. My sister gave it to me, so I'm going to be recycling them. And also, we're going to be using this jute twine. I got it from Walmart, and I had it on hand, and I had it for a really long time. So I decided to use it. So what we're going to do, I'm going to be using my hot glue, and I'm going to be putting the twine all around the jar, and I'm going to do it clear to the top. Once I reached the top, I just used my scissors to cut the twine and I did the same step with the other jar. I'm going to use this white jute twine. It's from Walmart and I had it on hand. So what we're going to do now, we're going to start creating like small tassels. And what I did here, I just measured them with my jar and I start wrapping it and I wrap it 10 times. And once it was all wrapped, I just use another piece of jute twine and I put it right here in the top and I just tied it really well, twice. And once it was tied, I just wrap it all around and I use my scissors to cut it and to secure it also I use hot glue in the bottom. I'm going to do the same step with the other tassels. You're going to need six tassels for each jar. In total, you're going to need 12 tassels. And 
and this is how they look once we're done. So we're going to be using again this jute twine and what we're going to do, we're going to just measure it like around the jar and we're going to measure a little bit bigger. What we're going to do here like to create like a garland of these tassels with these wood beads that we're going to use. These wood beads I got it from Amazon and what we're going to do now, we're just going to put a little bit of tape right here in the jute twine so we can start putting the wood beads. So now we're just going to tie it and for that we're just going to use the same piece of jute twine that we have left on the tassel with the big jute twine and we're just going to tie it together. Once it's all tied we're just going to cut it and put hot glue on the sides. I'm going to do the same step to put the other five tassels. And this is how it looks our garland once we're done. So now we're going to create a small braid to go around the jar and for that we're just going to be using this jute twine and I just measure the jute twine around the jar and what I did I just grabbed my twine and I just fold it three times so it can have two strings of jute twine in each side of the braid. Hopefully I make things what I'm trying to say here and to hold my braid I use this painter's tape that I had on hand and I just put it on my surface and I start braiding my braid. I also use my scissors to cut the jute twine in the top and the bottom.
So what I did here, I just tied my braid with the same jute twine in the bottom and I did the same step on the top. So once it's done, we're going to put it right here in the top of the jar. And for that, we're just going to use our hot glue. And I just put it around. And once it, I put it all around, it was a little bit longer. So to cut it, I just used my scissors and I just put hot glue. And this is how it looks once we're done. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to put that garland around the jar. And I'm just going to tie that twine around. If you guys want, you can use the hot glue and put a dot of hot glue in each wood bead. So we're going to be using these woodcraft cubes. I got it from Dollar Tree and I had it on hand. So I'm going to be using also this wood glue. It's from Dollar Tree as well. So I'm just going to put wood glue in one side. And we're just going to put another cube on top. And we're just going to let dry the wood glue 24 hours so they can be completely dry. And I'm going to do the same step with the other ones. In total, we're going to create eight. Our wood cubes, they're completely dry now. So what we're going to do now, we're just going to place them in the bottom of the jar. And for that, we're just going to place them just like this. And I'm just going to use my hot glue gun to glue it. But if you guys want a strong hold, I would recommend you guys to use E6000 for a strong hold. And this is how it looks once we're done. I'm going to use this greenery that I had on hand. It's from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to put it on my jar. And this is how it looks our project once we're done. So that was it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to be notified. And please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much.